Hi guys, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am doing a layout in my large red smash book. I have not worked in my smash book in quite a while and I've been having so much fun working out of it. Today I'm doing a one page spread and I'm using Echo Park's Fall is in the Air collection. Super cute collection. So I'm just going through my book trying to decide which page to do it on because it will leave a little bit of a border so uh, around my paper so I'm deciding which paper will look best with it and really the only border is right against the spine there or right against the binding so I like this darker color and these inside pages are 13 and a half tall by about 10 wide but if you um, measure it right from the binding out it's about nine and three quarters so being that I don't have paper that's 13 and a half tall, I'm adding two pieces to cover the entire background of the paper. You don't have to do that, but that you want to do that if it doesn't match um, what your the paper collection that you're working with. So that's what I'm doing here. I wanted a nice little white border. And off screen, I've already kind of decided the layout that I'm doing, and I already added my tape backing just to make the... Uh, video a little bit shorter. So because I don't have 13 and a half paper, I cut that piece to, well that one's cut to 12 by 9 and 3 quarters, and then I added a second piece that is 9 and 3 quarters by about 3 inches tall. And once I adhered that down and added that pattern paper to the top, you don't even notice that it's two pieces of paper. But then it gives me that little white border that I wanted. So that pattern paper, I added a saying on it and printed on top of the pattern paper. It says, this is real, this is love, this is life, and this is us. I'll give you a closer look at the end of the video of that. It's a really pretty saying that I had found. So I just used a couple different fonts that I had um, that I own and printed that out onto the paper. So here I'm using some art glitter glue and adding this adorable border. I purchased this border from the online silhouette store and I'm going to adhere down my photo on top of a white mat. The photo I'm using is 4x4 four four, and the white mat is 4 and an eighth by 4 and an eighth and then I'm adding that to a pattern paper that's 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter. I love using square photos. I love making square albums as well. So here I've cut out quite a few elements, um, embellishments, and I did back most of them ahead of time just to save time, but here I'm just showing you that I, I back it usually on a piece of cardstock just to give it, to make it a little bit sturdier. So I'm just kind of pulling out all the different embellishments, seeing which one I wanted to use. I knew for a fact I wanted to use this house. This house is also a purchase that I made from the online silhouette store and I colored it with colors that would match the collection. And it's a very whimsical house. It actually cuts out in three different pieces. You can cut it out in one piece, but I liked the whimsical look of it, so I left it just like that. So part of the roof you can kind of see through to the bottom pattern paper, which I thought was cute. I'm using, to glue this down, I'm using Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, the clear drying craft glue, and it's the first time I'm using it. I purchased it so I could add um, embellishments like maybe flat back pearls or little rhinestones, things like that, but I found that I'm using it with paper as well, and I really like it. It's, I think it's a, a nice size bottle for a good price. So I'm sort of testing that out, but so far I'm really liking that glue. I like to try any type of new type of glues and adhesives. Here's a large title that, again, I designed in my Silhouette software. If you don't have Silhouette and you wanted to make something similar, you could just use large stickers. And I gave myself a white border with that really pretty blue on top, and I felt like it blended in a little too much against the white hearts. So I simply went back and just gave it a tone on tone and then cut that out again. I still had the design up so I was able to just quickly change the colors and cut it out. And I like that so much better because it stood out just a little bit more. So I'm just kind of moving things around deciding where I want this little border to go. 
Again, that's from the Echo Park Fall is in the Air collection. And this bear was the cutest. I definitely knew I wanted to use that on the layout. So I'm just kind of placing things down, trying to decide what I like. And once I was happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing those down as well. You'll see in a moment I'll be using some tweezer bee tweezers to kind of keep my fingers out of the way when I'm gluing it down. It just kind of helps to be able to place the letters. And I do go ahead and place on the us, but in a moment here I'll move it because it. I couldn't find another place that I wanted to place the bear. Um, the, the letter S is actually where I decide I want the bear to go. And I did want it to overlap the photo slightly, so I do glue it down here in a moment. But as I kind of move things around, I realize I didn't have room for where I want the bear to go. So I simply pull those back up and move them. But first I'm going to add this cute little border. So when I'm pulling these letters back up, I do tear the U a little bit and a little bit of the S as well. So luckily I had it still on my computer so I again just cut those out quickly and replace those I'm just kind of I knew I was going to replace them here but I just wanted to set them down for spacing that's why I didn't add any more glue and then I'm going to add a couple hearts I wanted a couple hearts in the top right as well And then I also cut one of the framed hearts and I'll add that so I have a cluster of three right there and it kind of looks continuous. So here's where I'm replacing the word us. I'll add my glue and just put those down. I'm glad I saved the design so I was able to quickly cut those out again. And my favorite is this little bear so I'm going to go ahead and add them right against the picture. I wanted overlapping the picture slightly. Here's also these little heart embellishments. I wanted to add three of them on the page. Sometimes I plan my layouts ahead of time and other times I just kind of go with the flow, but I, I always um, use my pictures as a reference of what I want to do. So we took this picture, I think it was in December, so I did. I wanted to do a fall layout and I added a couple of the pumpkin, ripened pumpkin Nouveau Crystal Drops and here's a closer look. So I hope you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Have a great day.